Now, it's time for your 12 o'clock news on low-budget broke news with special reporter, Livin' Loud Nikki. Livin' Loud Nikki here with low-budget broke news. Most of our funding, obviously, is moving away to Mexico, which explains the loss of production set and equipment. But the important thing is, Ron Burgundy's in the field with a live report. Ron, are you there? Can you let us know what's going on? Living Loud Nikki, Peter Wilkins here. Ron Burgundy is currently buying a taco off a taco truck and will be with us shortly. In the meantime, breaking news. Retards protesting over things that actually don't exist. They never did to begin with. We only pretended they did in order to get Hillary elected. Unfortunately, that didn't work, but our sheep still believe the manipulative false media we gave them. A few edited words from Trump himself at rallies, thrown in together in a video, shown to our sheep liberals, and before you know it, they were believing things and more stupid than a prehistoric handicapped retarded ape. When we tried to actually explain this to our liberals and our democrats, they were so confused and it hurt their brains so bad that they couldn't take it anymore, trying to think. So they reverted to the only vocabulary they know, which is Fog Trump, Fog Trump, Fog Trump. From Low Budget Broke News, this is Peter Wilkins reporting live on retards protesting over things that don't exist. <laughs> Excuse me. Back to you in the studio, Living Loud Nikki. Oh man, intelligent life has got to be laughing at this Thank you, Peter Wilkins. Uh, looks like we just got word that uh, Ron Burgundy is back from his taco truck. Now we uh, we go live to him. Ron, what do you got for us? Living Loud Nikki, we are indeed with Low Broke News. So broke I can't afford a haircut. Hell, I look cheaper than a 70s porn star reporter. Ron, I have to agree. So what do you got for us? Rioting is going on across the nation, as you guys know. Let's go out and find out why people are protesting everywhere arriba, about arriba. Trump's new presidency. It's mad crazy. Let's a oh crap. Things are flying everywhere. Let's find out what's going on. Sir, sir, come here. Sir, why are you protesting, sir? <sighs> what's up, Kuto? Why are you oh, protesting? Oh, oh God, you, are you, you didn't hear? Can Trump on, is that? Yes, he did. Why are you protesting? I don't even know. Uh, think, 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 think. Cause, man, he's, he's gonna build the wall. That's fucking racist. So, uh, stopping people from breaking the law and uh, expired visas is racist. Got it, got it. We need to alert the world. Are you, are you here illegally? Are you illegal? Le illegally? No, I... Are, I... Fuck Trump! Fuck Trump! Fuck Trump! Okay, alrighty then. Oh, oh sh sir, uh, you, dropped your, you dropped your crack or cocaine or whatever. Okay, anyway. Anyway, there you have it. Let's keep moving yeah, on, guys, no. and see oh, what's going on. Abdur, get off the damn camel and help me crash this car. Hey, amigo, amigo, hey, my friend, you join us, hey, Mexico. <laughs> uh, looks like somebody over here is breaking in windows and starting a fire. Let's go find out. Orale, 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 burn it, my friend. Sir, sir, excuse me. Why, why are you busting the windows out of that poor woman's car and starting this building on fire? Can you tell us why, please? Oh, oh, hey, amigo, hey, uh, amigo, Mexico. Oh, we know. We see your Mexican flags being waved all over our land. Sir, let me ask you, though. Why are you burning that woman's bakery down? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Donald, Donald uh, Trump, my friend, he, uh, he, Donald Trump is offensive. He, uh, he, he, he has a mean tone. <laughs> Burn that fucking building. <laughs> Mexico. Okay, okay. That makes sense. Uh, I guess. Need some matches? <laughs> Get out, guys. Mad craziness going on. Out of here. We actually have a white person. Let's go talk to him. Excuse me, ma'am, ma'am. Why are you why are you protesting? Are you are you a Hillary supporter, ma'am? Um, are you aware of cor Hillary's corruption and murder? And did create ISIS and created murder and Benghazi and she's the most corrupt politician in world history. I mean, does that change anything, ma'am? I am not a white woman. And yes, I am. And you know what? He didn't pay his taxes! Burn that fucking thing down! <laughs> she makes a good point. Hillary corruption that took three years to explain versus Trump taxes. That he actually paid where he did nothing wrong. Who wouldn't be pissed at Trump? So, excuse me, sir, sir. From a guy's a perspective, um, why, why, why are you protesting? If you don't, you seem pretty calm. Why are you protesting? Do you know how hard it is to get stuff across? I don't know. You guys are all here. 
is not that hot. <laughs> if a wall goes up, my friend, I lose lots of money, lots of money. New, new trenches we got to dig is, is a very complicated game, you see? <laughs> very complicated game, my friend. Okay, so, so uh, what you're saying is you're a drug lord, right? You smuggle drugs. Oh, no, no, not at all. No, no, don't be silly. I'm talking about Trump. Uh, he's a bigot. He doesn't like women. That's what I'm talking about. He, he beats on women, yeah. Uh, in the, or does he? No, he fends women and says bad things about the vaginas. That's terrible. We can't have that as president. We need Hillary. I see. You guys take contradicting yourselves to a whole nother level. You guys do realize uh, she accepts money from countries that murder their wives, beat their wives, cut their wives' breasts off, bury them alive, just for the mere fact of well, looking at well, another man. Now that you say that, um, well, he... Uh, fuck Trump! Fuck Trump! Fuck Trump! <laughs> hey, they're paying us $1,500 and a free phone to uh, beat people up. Thanks, Hillary. <laughs> Racist rioting paid by Hillary to pretend it was us. Starting to think uh, their whole cause is pretty damn contradicting. <laughs> anyway, with all that being said, do you believe in the new poll that just came out that farts have more common sense than Hillary supporters? Nigga, hell no. Yo, we get paid by Hillary to act like y'all racist, and then we dumb enough to actually turn around and believe what we just lied about. But you know what? Trump offended a woman in 1937. The fuck's up with that? I'm thinking about it, cuz. Got all these women and shit coming out the motherfucking war works all of a sudden. After all these years and shit, claiming Trump's raping them and shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now that I run for, for president, it makes sense why I didn't come out, you know, 30, 40 years earlier. All of a sudden they want to come out now that he's running for president. That makes total sense. It's not like niggas be paying him off or something. That'd be stupid to take that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, it's women popping out quicker than illegal aliens running up into a food stamp line. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense these women just appearing out of nowhere. Come on, man, of course Trump raped all these women. What, you think they're getting paid off or something? Make a place. Who wouldn't believe these women's dog? It's man, fuck Trump. Bust the ass, bitch. CNN? That's that real shit, huh? CNN ain't ever gonna lie to us. Real talk. What's right side broadcasting? Right side broadcasting? Oh, shit. Man, that's a... That's a... That's, a, that's like a cupcake or something, man. I think. Cupcake or a burrito or... Cause CNN ain't ever gonna lie to us and we gonna believe everything the media tells us cause what the media says is true dog. true it's out cause shit oh I, I, I'm, just, I'm just playing man I know it ain't no cupcake dog. so I'm just playing man, man fuck Trump fuck Trump Living loud, uh, Ron, Ron Brigger here. It is pandemonium out here. We've got a lot of crazy stuff going on. I mean, people are throwing bottles and stuff. I mean, people are sleeping on sidewalks. And, oh, oh, oh. Burgundy, you there? Burgundy, Burgundy. Oh, uh, report. Living loud. They're in the trees. They're in oh the God. trees. Oh Fuck. Ron Burgundy, low budget. Broke news. I'm okay. Apparently. They forgot what they were protesting about and got bored and climbed some trees and started to build some clubhouses. Ooh. Oh shit, we have a Caucasian male driving a Jag. This is my chance to prove that not all Trump supporters are dumb rednecks. We back up these messages, Jesus Christ. Excuse me, sir. Hi. Yo, yo. What can you do for you? Hi, hi. Ron Burgundy, can we speak with you for a moment? Uh, what was your name? Burgundy. Burger, burgery? Burgery? Book, burgery? No, Burgundy. Burgundy? <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> what can I do for you, Burgundy? Wait, sir, is, is, is that how you talk? That's how I fucking talk. What are you talking about? But you're you're driving a Jag. Oh. Oh, it's a Jag? No, shit. <laughs> it's my horse. Yes, sir. <laughs> Your horse, <laughs> his horse. Anyway, what's going on? You filming all this protest shit going on or what? Yes, you're a hilly supporter, right? Not a dumb Trump redneck supporter? Well, I am a damn redneck, shit. And I vote for Trump. <laughs> Why power? Tell you what, <laughs> damn niggas. <laughs> Man, I might not look like a cowboy, but I'm a motherfucking redneck. <laughs> shit, you know what I'm saying? I like to sit on back boats and watch the bugs zap for entertainment. You know, uh, one time I had to run so bad I shit the screen door and I even touched one wire. <laughs> I was impressed that day. <laughs> Let me tell you something. 
I'm glad Trump won, because we need heat and wind. You know what I'm saying? Why power? They built that damn wall. <laughs> Tell you what, shit. All them liberals were right, man. We're all a bunch of damn racists. We don't know our head from our ass. <laughs> Fuck Trump. Oh, shit. I'll mean, be two shits in a rooster. I didn't mean that. I meant fuck Hillary. Don't put that on there, you hear? We won't. Let's interview this guy. Oh, Trump's or hater. Trump's or more nonsense shit. More nonsense. Excuse me, sir. Ron Burgundy here. What's up? What does your shirt say? Media is more smarter than God. Huh. <laughs> oh, God. These guys are dumber than kittens chasing a string. So what are you protesting for, sir? Hold on. Hold that thought, sir. Excuse me, sir. Mike, edit that last part out about the kitten and the string over there. That might be a new form of racism. I'm not sure. Hard to keep up with. I farted, like, last week, I farted to the left a little bit, and I uh, didn't fart completely straight, and I got called a racist for it. So, yeah, I want to cover my ass. Sorry, sir. What, so what are you protesting about? If Trump builds this wall, then, you know, uh, um, I have and friends and stuff that, that aren't from, you know, this country. I'm worried that they're going to get deported and families are going to be split up. So... <laughs> Oh my god. Common sense is not a Democrat's strong point. <laughs> Whew. Sorry, sir. So, uh, let me ask you this. What do you have to say uh, to the women and mothers of these daughters who are being raped and murdered every year by the thousands uh, by illegal immigrants? Some of them are being beaten to death while raped and sodomized, molested, and destroyed. These illegals have been deported five times and yet come back and murder our Marines in drive throughs and women and, uh, and wave Mexican flags on American soil, and which is technically an act of war. But they're able to get away with it because once we attempt to do anything, they throw out a race card and we fold like little puppy dogs with tails between our legs. Get a little carried away there, so uh, I mean, believe me, the universe and myself, we're all pointing and laughing at you guys, but your priorities of importance are just, whew, it's sickening, so... Side note, I know this isn't professional, but to all the families and Americans out there that are losing their loved ones and their kids and their children, their husbands, their sheriffs, everybody, uh, to murder, rape, sodomize, uh, disgusting things that are just pitiful uh, by, at the hands of illegal aliens, I feel for you guys. Um, I'll never put someone's comfort of not being able to have to go out of our country and make sure they have a place to stay so we can continue to be murdered by their hands. So I actually have a brain. I just hey, want to say senor, that to I the families the out there. Uh, we're with you. Okay? So, well, I mean... It sucks, man. It does. I mean, it's, it's terrible, you know. But I mean, I'm gonna lose my aunt, man. You know, she's gonna get deported. Yeah, but hey, I mean, Martinez, we here, got free right? TV, safe way, come with us. And our people could stay alive. Yeah, but I mean, it's a lot of money on plane tickets, man. You know, I mean, what's what's a woman getting raped and murdered? I mean, come on, man. Can you afford plane tickets these days? That's a good point. Plane tickets are not cheap. Well, I mean, uh, maybe I should agree with you. I mean, maybe we should risk our children and our women and let them continue to be murdered at the uh, legal aliens' hands because, after all, when uh, one of our great presidents said a country without borders is not a country at all, he obviously didn't know what he was talking about. But hey, you guys do. The illegals might be doing that and stuff, but it's not like, you know, the place is getting flooded with illegal immigrants. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Well, I mean, oh, there's only over 3,000 illegal aliens crossing our border a day. Uh, so, you know, with the murder rate going on our own people uh, at their hands, I mean, we should be just fine, you know? So, I mean, granted, if it was any other country, Mexican heritage, African-American heritage, they'd definitely look out to preserve their history, you know, protect their heritage. I mean, why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't anybody? They'd go extinct, if you will. But, of course, us English, you know, if we even attempt to try to protect our women and our, our children or anything that's harming us and protect our heritage, well, since we're white, guess what? We're racist. <laughs> well, I say fuck that. Because I've got the balls to call you out in the face and say you're a hypocrite. No matter how much you point these things out, the fact that our people will be deported, we have to spend a lot of money on plane tickets and stuff, we have to go out of our way, will always outweigh the fact that our people are being murdered and raped and killed, okay? That's not as important, okay? Fuck Trump, fuck Trump, I'm an idiot. That liberal just admitted he's an idiot. I didn't think it was possible for them to realize that. Okay, you, you've heard it, uh, fuck Trump. <laughs> um, 
They've, uh, they've got some writing going on here, guys. A lot of really good causes that make a lot of good sense. So, um, yep, so continue uh, to watch CNN and all the, the propaganda because, you know what, they know what's best for us. So uh, don't think because we can't have that. Uh, keep doing what you're doing, and uh, that's what we get paid for. So, uh, sheep, remain where you are. Classy San Diego, keep them stupid. This is Ron Burgundy, 70s style, low budget. This has been a special report with low budget broke news with your senior analyst, Living Loud Nikki. See you next month when we get paid. Low broke news takes no responsibility for any affiliates associated with our network. If we have offended you in any shape, way, or form, or hurt your feelings, we apologize. Please do not sue us. Low broke news cannot handle any lawsuits. We need the little that we have, which is probably moving to China anyway with Fox News and Ford. Plus, we promised Ron a haircut. To watch this whole video in Spanish, press 2. Russian, 3. Yugoslavian, 4. Chinese, 5. Japanese, 6. Palestinian, 7. Brazilian, 8. Portuguese, 9. To hear the rest of the 4,787777779437 7 languages, go ahead and press 1010 now. Or, to speak with a live operator, jump through 17 more hoops due to the fact that we don't make nothing in America no more and we deal everything overseas. Then, you will finally be connected with someone from India that you can't understand with the shit and they can't understand you, asking the same question over and over again. Hey Mike. Yes. I wonder why when we crammed 6,744 species into one boat, I wonder why they all fought and didn't get along. Weird, huh? I know, I thought the same thing.